Hey guys, it's Scott from Let's Play Easy Mode, and today we're gonna be diving back into the world of Breath of the Wild. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you're new here, then welcome to the channel. And if you're one of our regulars, then welcome back. Today, we're gonna be diving back into Hyrule, back into Zelda, back into the world of Breath of the Wild, something that we have been in for over 50 long episodes now. And you know what? I'm still loving it. It's not getting old. Um, you know, I thought by now that, you know, the series being this long, because this has been absolutely our longest series, um, you know, on the channel so far. Um, and, and we can go a lot further with it, but it just hasn't really worn out its welcome. And it really, based on what I'm learning uh, over these last 50 plus episodes, especially from the community and the audience and the fandom of Breath of the Wild, this isn't really a game that overstays its welcome in your life. Um, as a matter of fact, it seems that the more time you spend with it, the more addicted you get to Hyrule and the more you don't ever want to leave it. Um, and it's just really has been such an incredible experience. Now recently, uh, in our previous episode, we just finished the Champions Ballad DLC. And by doing that, now we have completed all kinds of great rewards because we've upgraded all of our champions uh, 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 abilities so you know things like Urbosa's Fury and Darut's Protection, Mifa's Grace and Rivali's Gale uh, will all regenerate like within four minutes like much faster. Uh, we also got another ending memory uh, we got a photo of the whole gang that was taken a hundred years ago and then the coolest prize of them all was getting uh, the motorcycle. Um, what was it? The Cycle something zero? Master Cycle Zero, that's what it was called. And uh, so now we have a motorcycle uh, to, to partner up when if Easy Boy ever gets tired, we'll just take our motorcycle out. Um, so now Link can just, you know, ride around Hyrule on a bike and I'm really looking forward to it. We got a chance to play around with that a little bit. Uh, at the end of the last episode, but we're gonna mess around with it um, today as well. But we're not just gonna ride a bike, because I also feel like the more we ride that bike, um, there's gonna be times where that's just gonna be fun to get from one area to another. And then I think there's also gonna be a chance to miss out on some things if we're just always riding the bike too. We're just taking Easy Boy out for a nice leisurely walk. Uh, we can also find more people, side quests, and places we haven't seen along the way. And that's what we're gonna do today. Today, uh, we are finally, this has been a much anticipated episode for a lot of people, is that today we are finally just leaving the DLC behind us for a little bit, and we are going to be uh, just exploring Hyrule, getting back into the things that we love the most about this game. And uh, one thing I want to do today is finally go to Luralin Village because we started doing that many, many episodes ago and never got a chance to do that. So we're going to head to Luralin today and uh, if we get a few squirrel moments where we get distracted by shrines or Korok seeds or side quests along the way, we're going to do them as we go. We're just going to take our time. We are going to relax and just chill out together and have some fun in Hyrule today. Day. Uh, before we go ahead and get into it though, I just want to say if you are enjoying this series and you're excited for where we're going with exploration, uh, make sure to click like on this video. And also, if you are not already a part of our community here, click that subscribe button. Come on in and join the family. We're on our road to 1,000 subscribers and beyond, and you can help us get there by hitting the subscribe button. If you want to hang out with us more, you can do that by heading on over to Discord. The link for that is down below. And of course, you can always dive in deeper with me by hopping on over to the Patreon page, which you can get to by going to this link right here for $5 a month. You can get all these videos that you see here on YouTube early as early release content because they go to Patreon quite a bit sooner. Um, also, we are now doing weekly live streams on Patreon. So no matter whatever level you sign up for at Patreon, you can be a part of those live streams with us. Uh, we do weekly live streams, usually on Wednesday, unless there's like a change in schedule or something. And uh, it's just a chance for us for like an hour hour, hour and a half or whatever, uh, to just hang out as a community over there. Um, so far we've played some Mario Kart and uh, also playing Breath of the Wild, doing some Korok hunting. It's a lot of fun. You should come over and check us out. 
Uh, for $10 a month, you'll get all of that, plus exclusive content, because there are games that we're playing on Patreon that you won't see on regular YouTube, because they are game playthroughs that are just meant for Patreon eyes only. Speaking of Patreon eyes, I do just want to say a special thank you to our current list of patrons over there. I love you guys. Thank you so much for all of your monthly support, uh, being the first to comment, and just doing everything that you guys do that make Patreon awesome. Uh, if you're out there and you want to get shout outs on all of these videos and, and just dive in deeper here at Let's Play Easy Mode, get more content, get it sooner and get more and uh, be a part of the live streams, then hop on over to Patreon today. All right, guys, without further ado, let's jump back in and just take our time and relax and explore. It's time for a nice chill episode of Breath of the Wild. Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and dive into Breath of the Wild. I'm getting a little caught up in my headphones cable. All right, this is where we left off last time, but I actually want to jump off for a minute. And I want to fast travel. I don't remember where Lurlin is, but if I had to make a guess, I thought we discovered Lurlin maybe down here gosh i want really want to say this bridge is where we were heading the first time we were on our way there um so let's do this uh let's head over to the tower and let's go explore today Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I, I really appreciate you guys. Some of you guys have been just sticking with this series the whole way through, and uh, it really means a lot to me that you watch me on YouTube. <laughs> and th we're doing this, you know. Um, I'm, for so many of you, this isn't just a spectator sport. Uh, so many of you guys get involved with comments and give me tips and tricks and help me out along the way. And I'll tell you what, I read every single one of those comments. I try to respond to as many as I can. Usually it's all of them. Um, and it just means the world to me that we have what we have together. Um, I'm going to dive down to the road. Um, and I want to get down. There's a river, but I want to go. Let's just go have fun. <laughs> I'm so excited uh, that I have that motorcycle and I do want to play with it, but I was actually thinking that it's been a while since we've done anything with Easy Boy. And I think it's time to take Easy Boy out for a ride. What was that noise? Oh, I see there's enemies over there. Well, here's the road. Oh no, we have a, a Yiga. The roots protection is now ready to roll. Oh, just in time. Oh, just in time. Where is he? Oh, he got me again. Ah! I can't lock onto him. Right in the face. Haha. <laughs> I don't really need his duplex bow, but I'll take this. There. Oh, uh, easy boy. Oh, wait a minute. There he is. Aw, oh, man, I feel like it's been forever since we've hung out with easy boy. Come on, easy boy. Easy boy, we got a motorcycle now. Don't worry, it's not as pretty as you are. Not as handsome. Whoa! I'm not sure I remember this. Have I not been over here? What is that noise? Pardon me, sir. Guys, I think I've discovered this yet. 
I don't think so. Ooh, there's a guardian thing over there. Or uh, one of those guardian turrets, right? I think that's what it is. Good boy. Oh, it's not active though. We got some rain. Ancient shaft. What's this? Oh. We'll take it. Oh, wait. Oh, jeez! <laughs> what the heck? Oh, wow, that jumped me. Big time. I wasn't expecting that. Huh. I don't think, I, I'm not sure. I don't remember if I've come across one of those yet. Oh man, I don't think we've hung out here by the, the beach. This is neat. Wow, I've been playing this game for so long now. And uh, I still haven't discovered this yet. I wonder if there's anything magnetic in the water. Huh. Maybe he's not able to come. Hey, buddy. Actually, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. It's been a while. There you go. Yeah. All right. It's just you and me, buddy, and all these people watching. Let's go see what's over here. Who knows? We might find a Korok seed or something. I have a Stone Smasher now, so. Wow, look at that. That's not alive. I still got the Sheikah sensor set to find shrines. What is up there? Lakeside stable, okay. Well, you know what? Hang on. I'm not going up there yet. I want to see this uh, this beach. Maybe we'll find a Korok over here. All right, easy boy. We got to be careful because you don't know. There's little things that keep popping up. that oh my I you know what I started pulling out my bow because I was gonna shoot that goat but then when I realized that uh, stasis was lighting up that I thought there was something more to that rock okay let's uh let's get this done Uh, you know, I'm gonna give him that stone smasher. Oh, I, I... Hang on, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, 
Got him. Crawl up. And hit him. Oh no! Uh, Orbrosa's Fury. That's what we need. Got him. Oh, he was easy. Once we do that. Nice. Okay. Oh, and we got some stuff we can sell. Where's my arrow? Nice. Very nice. You see that, easy boy? We handle that like a champ. Now, what's out there? Is that maybe another Korok location? I don't have my uh, Zelda dungeon opened up, but... Oh, wrong button. There we go. Look at that thing. It's like a crab. Iron. Iron shell crab. Pardon me there, crabby. out there too it's gonna be a beautiful moon tonight no blood moon look at that come on buddy let's go it's good to have you back I wish there was a way to use my rune, like, uh, to be able to use stasis while on Easy Boy, because then I could use it to highlight stuff around me. Well, I don't think we've actually hung out here by the ocean. Now... I see those islands there. Is that technically? Yeah, I guess that's those over there. Oh! Hey, look at that. You took care of them. Oh! Sorry, easy boy. That was a mistake. Gotcha. Oh, I, that's a, that was not a part I can sell. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> he just, he doesn't even walk over anymore. He just comes right over like with a teleport. <gasps> you hit my horse, you. It's okay, I did earlier too, but that was an accident. for easy boy. Hardy blue snail. Okay. Let's see if we can find any Koroks. Oh, opal, that's nice. Anything over here? Wow, there's a lot of wind. All right. This is fun. I haven't been over to this part of the map at all. Just keeping it on the water.
Now, what is going on here? All right, they are sleeping. And what is going on there? Oh, okay, never mind. Oh, you caught, he was playing possum. All right. Yeah. There's another guy, right? Yeah, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. I steal your roasted bass. And then I go like these. Oh, it still didn't get him. Like he's mad. He's mad at metal now. Swing. Come on now. Oh, you lost your weapon. What do we got? More bomb arrows, nice. Some apples. Some monster parts. Um, nothing there. Yep. And uh. Nice. That's fun. And then we'll pick that up, drop it down. Reap the reward. Oh, that's wood. And these are metal over here, right? Yeah. Say what? There we go. Nice. Oh, the sun's coming up again. That was a short night. I think I dented it. Nice. One more. Okay, and then we got these wooden boxes. Roasted bass. And, um. Did I have a. <laughs> Use this. Nice. It broke. Because it was just an arm. Will this break the wood up pretty good? Yeah. Nice. Oh, my goodness! You. Those choo choos, I tell ya. Um. Okay. All right, easy boy. Let's keep exploring this beautiful. Look at the teal. It's like almost like a teal water. It's really pretty, actually. Man, I'd love to hang out on this beach for real. Especially in like for in real life right now. We're just inundated with so much snow Actually, this is the most snow I've seen in the month of March in a while Just enjoying the coast we're taking easy boy for a nice beach walk.
There. Anything good? Eh. It's the weak. Weak stuff. We can actually probably use one of our, um... Like, simple meals. Um, do I have anything that's not like... Well, you know... I just want something that's like simple, you know? Um, sure, I'll just do that. Um, I want to save those other ones for more intense times. Just hanging out on the beach. Going for a nice beach walk. Though I do want to go get to Luralin. There's another rock. Nope, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, that is a real one. Nice. I was thinking it was another one of those octo balloon things. Topaz, okay, very nice. A lot of rain here on the beach today. All right, easy boy, I'll meet you over here. There. Drink some peach honey sparkling water today. That's actually really good. Except for when you swallow it weird and then you feel the burn in your nose. <laughs> okay. Here we are, lakeside. Let's make some of this. Uh, simmered fruit. It's good to just have some of this, uh, oops. Wrong one. There. Just have a few of these on hand. All right. What else we got? Man, we got a lot of these bananas, that's for sure. And the swift carrot. Yep, increase your speed. Let's, um... Let's have a, one of those, one of those, and then let's see if we throw some meat on there. <laughs> Steam meat, okay. So many ingredients, but where am I? I see, I think this is where I was going the first time Oh, is that Beetle? Man, I haven't talked with him in a long time. Oh. Hi, buddy. <laughs> He's all ready to sell. Oh, so you're here too? Seems fate has bound us together. What are you looking for? Or are you selling? Uh, well, what, did, what have you got? <laughs> oh, sure, I'll buy some arrows from you. Yep. And I will buy all of your arrows. Wow! Yay! <laughs> Yay is right. And, um, well, I wonder if he can, look what I've got. I wonder if he can just buy some of our, um, stones, our gems and stuff. Flint, or can he still 
give the same amount? Maybe not. No, he can. Okay, because I remember the diamond is... Oh, yeah, look at that. Wow. I love selling this stuff because we get a lot of money from it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yay. <laughs> He's such an excitable fella. There we go. Wow. All the amber... And the opal. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Luminous stone. I keep thinking... I gotta look at my side quest, because I keep feeling like there was something I needed luminous stone for. But now that I think about it, I think we already did it. I'm not sure. <laughs> All right, buddy. We'll see you later. Dragon's here. I think we're on our way to Lurlin. Wait. I went down there? I want to get that dragon scale. I should have used Rivali's Gale. It's a long swim out here. What I'll do is when I get back over here, I'll, uh, once I pick up this dragon scale, I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and probably go back to that horse stable again. We're gonna need to get some stamina, I guess. Should do the trick. I think this is the first time, other than when I had to do it as part of a champion's ballad, this might be the first actual dragon scale. You guys have been telling me for months to shoot one. Farish's scale. Oh, you know, one thing. Oh, look at this. Where am I? Oh, that's still the bridge. And there was a Korok there, too. Do I have more? Um... No, I don't have any more uh, stamina. So let's fast travel out of here and go back over here so we don't die. And then let's go cook up some stamina meals just so we have them on hand. And then we'll cross the bridge properly. Boy, this is a very different episode than the last several that we've been doing. You know, we've been so focused, kind of more laser focused on the DLC. But look at it. We got all our upgrades and everything. So it's pretty cool. I think I'm going the right way to Luralyn. I don't know. Oh, Beetle took a seat. He's cracking up. Uh, okay, let's see what we have here. We have... Okay, we have that. Hold that. And... Let's do that. And... I was wondering if I had, like, one of those... 
Do I have anything else that does stamina? Heat resistance, cold resistance, electricity resistance. Increase your stealth. That's nice. Raise your defense. Oh, well. Monster extract. Star fragment. Huh. Oh, what do I got here? What I, I haven't really looked at the fish. A lot of stamina. Okay. Let's do that. A couple of fish. Let's see what they do. Well, let's try it. Mushrooms and fish. Seems like a good mix, right? Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely, okay. And yeah, just for that, I'm gonna cook another fish. Uh, uh, which one was the stamina? This one, yeah. Do I have anything else I can put it with? Got a lot of these fireflies. And the fairies. So much stuff. So much stuff. Um, increases your attack power. Kind of just... Throw some meat in there. That'll at least give it some more... Um, some more hearts, too. Okay. Good enough for now. Hey, Beetle. Hi there. Hi, Shay. Hey, buddy. Got a map? I do have one. So on this map of yours, do you see dueling peaks to the north of here? Well, apparently that used to be just one mountain a really long time ago. The legends say a dragon god split the mountain in half to forge a way through, and that's how it went from one to two. Recently, some are even saying they've seen the shadow of a large creature on the surface of Lake Floria. That's the one we just we just got. I wonder if any of that is true. Anybody in here? The rumor mill. Tracy here. Let's see what Tracy's got. I think we this one we probably... Oh, the glowing blue bunny. Yep, we've done that. Saw light moving in the darkness without hesitation. Fire and arrow. Yep, rupees. Uh, anyway. Okay. Finding it means finding lots and lots of rupees. Okay. Wait, I don't know how to use a bow and arrow. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Then, then her recommendation went way down. Okay. Oh, there's a bowl there. Okay. Buddy. Let's get back on track. Look at this. this is beautiful. Look at those waterfalls, guys. Wow. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Easy boy doesn't whoa anymore. Ever since he got this armor. Beautiful. Good. Good boy. I shot a dragon here. I'll always remember the time I shot a dragon. Hi, squirrels. while you know you know that we've done a lot of shrines because this really not hasn't been often now that 
we get the Sheikah sensor going off about the shrine. All right, let's pause here. I knew it! This felt like I was gonna fight something. Ah, I'm having a hard time locking on. There. What else you got? I'll take your rupees. Okay, what else did I see? What's up there? What is that? Something to get. Oh, it's a luminous stone. Oh, and a Korok. Awesome. Yahaha. Yeah, ha ha. We got a Korok seed. Thanks, buddy. Okay. Anything else to see while we're here? It's a good idea to use that stasis once in a while to just see if it highlights anything around here. There still seems to be something about... Is that someone in trouble? Yep! I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming! Oh. Don't you do that to me! I smite you! Hi. Uh. There aren't many heroes in the world like you anymore. I think Sorelia and I can part with this as a thank you gift. Ooh, energizing glaze. Why, thank you! Uh, I suppose no place in Hyrule is safe anymore, not even the settlements. Well, I, I disagree. I think you should go to Hatino. Or maybe Luralin. All the more reason for me to redouble my training in order to help my beloved Sorelia. Good idea. Keep her safe. Are you Sorelia? Yeah, we are traveling in search of a flower known as a silent princess. That we must pluck one, that we might pluck one for ourselves. I knew the risks of roaming the countryside with monsters about while I insisted on accompanying Ty. But I firmly believe that my husband and I can withstand any kind of hardship so long as we are together. Oh, I, I would give them one. I've got plenty. Okay, guys. Have a good day. All right. Easy. Ooh. Easy. Come on over, you lazy horse. Just teleport your way over. Oh, hey now. Hi. Hey, Spinch. Yeehaw, the name's Spinch. The horse's name is Spinch. They call us the Spinches. <laughs> Did you know, way out west in the Teobob grasslands, along the fair and high road, there's tail of a giant horse. It's a giraffe, dude. It's a giraffe. All right. Let's keep going. Moving right along. Got to keep our eyes open for stuff around here. Alright, come on, buddy. So 
where are we now? This is all new. This is new territory, I think, for me. Is there a sign to look at? Ooh, we got some weather. Let's see what we got here. Tough Mountain? Or Tuft Mountain. Then this is going into like a, if I follow the road this way, it goes into like a wooded area. There's the beach again. I'm curious about this. Um, Yambi Lake seems to be kind of up on a mountain. There's a heart right there. A heart-shaped lake. Oops, we're not going to put a skull on it because that doesn't go with it. But we're going to go check that out. I want to see what the heart-shaped lake is all about. Meat. Meat. It's a very dramatic cartoon death of that. Ooh. Are you trying to take my kill? Right in the face! Man, I can see in hindsight now why people save that Yiga hideout for much later. Just so they don't have to worry about these guys popping up all the time. Hello, crab. Oh, we're going back to the beach. Oh, we got the bats. Hi there, flamingos, or whatever you are. Slow down. can't get him to slow down anymore, so I always have to jump off. Huh. Red at night, sailor's delight. up here <sighs> that's cool <laughs> wow I don't, we haven't been up here yet either oh oh easy boy there you go good job buddy I've been so used to fending Easy Boy, so used to that, that Easy Boy returned the favor. I've been going like, you know, for, for Easy Boy. He just went, for Link. What do we have up there? This is all new territory for me. Yeah, I'm, I'm positive we never came up here. Oh. Is that 
the moon? Where is the moon? Why is that? There's like a reflection, a, a bright light, but I can't. It looks like right here. Oh, there it is. Okay. That's so cool. Oh, that must be even tied over there. Way off in the because I'm looking, I think, at that shrine that we already did. So I wonder if that's way, or maybe that's even further off. Huh. Yeah, I think that. So there's the shrine. That's a long ways away. <laughs> I apologize to you guys uh, for those of you who might find this particular video to be boring. Uh, honestly, I'm having a blast with this right now because it's like, We've been doing such hard, challenging things. And it's really fun for me to just get back to exploring Hyrule in places that I haven't been before. Just enjoying it. Someone went through a lot of time and effort to make this for us. It's totally worth just slowing down and enjoying it. Very wet over here. Is that even time? I can't tell. No, that's too far. Even time would be too far away, I think. But then again, that that might actually be. Huh. I think it is. Just going sightseeing now. And I want to check out that heart-shaped lake. Where was that? That Are we coming up on that? Yeah, kind of at the end of this road here. Hang on, easy boy. I'll be right back. Stuff's blowing around up here. Wouldn't surprise me if we saw a Korok. Uh, it's over here. Look at that. That is a heart-shaped pond. Ooh, with a hearty radish. We'll take it. Oh, there's a dude. <gasps> and a side quest. Wobbin. Hey, I'm trying to work up the courage to talk to her. Just let me, yeah? Nope, rival time. Oh, come on, Link. No, we're not going to say that. That's not very nice. No problem. Phew. But who's he talking about? I'm so glad. Oh, by the way, my name is Wobbin. Aww. To be honest, I lost my way earlier. Oh, a Gerudo girl. I closed my eyes for a minute, and when I opened them, the most beautiful woman I've ever seen was standing before me. Mm. At first, I thought I was dreaming, or that she was a ghost or something. I mean, it's not every day you run into a gorgeous woman in the middle of nowhere by a heart pond. Uh. But figment of my imagination or not, it was love at first sight. And so I've decided to gather my courage and go confess my feelings to her. You might want to get her name. I decided long ago that when I meet the girl of my dreams, I'll hand her a blue nightshade and confess my love. He's a... He, he probably hasn't had a lot of experience with women. Um, if I had a blue nightshade, I'd head straight over to that woman. 
I mean, imagine her in a blue nightshade. That'd make a beautiful scene, don't you think? Here, dude. I can't tear my eyes away from her. I want to talk to her, but I don't have anything worthy of being a gift. If only I, ha I have one. Ah, the smell of it. I can almost imagine it right now. It's so clear. Almost like it's... Wait, do you have some blue nightshade on you right now? Please, you must give me that flower. It couldn't be more important. If you say so. Here you go. Uh, Thank you. This is so perfect. That's exactly what I needed. Oh la la. Ah, uh, I just, ugh. When I look at her, my legs freeze up. My throat goes dry. I, I can't do it. Please, could you take my gift to her? Sure. Mm. Thank you. I'll give you back this blue nightshade. Uh. Oh, and don't forget to mention, uh, it's a present from me. More hearty radish. I care more about the hearty radish than anything else. Uh, pardon me, ma'am. Am I in the right Sava place? Sava. Oh, Saba Saba. Hmm? Are you... Could you be the Vo I am destined to meet? I love how these two just... You know, they're so ready for a relationship. You know, like, he's just like, I gotta give her this flower, and I don't need her name, and I just saw her, and, and she's just like, are you the Vo I'm destined to meet? That's great. No one falls in love like this anymore, do they? Or have they ever? Let's see, could you be the Vo I am destined to meet? Uh. No, no, I don't think so. But then, this is the Pond of Legend, is it not? Oh, okay. The one where a person finds true love? Mm. Yet all I see now is that strange Vo on the other side of the pond. Could I be at the wrong one? Uh, I'm trying to give you, what's this? A gift from that guy. There you go. Mm. I see. So you're delivering these flowers for that Vo over there? Yeah, the man who needs mm. clearly needs a lot of help. I don't sense any deceit from you. Now they'll go live happily ever after in Terrytown. Uh -huh. So you're the one who gave me the flowers? Uh -huh. Eek, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. Could could it be that you don't like blue nightshade? Uh -huh. Why would you say that? This is my favorite kind of flower. How did you know that anyway? Are you a Yiga spy? Wait a minute, what if he is? Uh -huh. No, no th that's not it. Blue nightshade just happens to be my favorite flower. Long ago, I decided to give my true love this flower. Mm. Your true love. So this is what they call destiny. You're the vow that destiny has chosen for me then. All right, go ahead and speak your piece. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? No, that's not right at all. Uh -huh. I'm talking about what a vow says to a vi. A a vi. What do you mean? Uh-oh, huh? this is falling apart fast. Uh, you know, something like, I like you, or please go out with me. Mm. Oh, uh, sure. Asking so directly, how could I possibly say no? What? Uh. Oh, wow. Did you hear that? She said she likes me, and she wants to go out. This is the first time anyone has ever said they like me. Girl, you better start walking. I don't know. This guy's, this guy's going to be bringing on some challenge here. And for it to come from the woman of my dreams, this is such an amazing feeling. I'm so glad I was born into this world. There's no way I can truly thank you, but please take this as a token of my thanks. I got 20 huh? rupees. What? That's it? That's all you're willing to offer him for everything he's done for you? I No, of course not. This is funny. Here, this is what I meant to give you. A hundred. Oh. Much better. Hey, you. <laughs> I guess I owe you too. <laughs> She's like, you want to go out? <laughs> and like, I would say yes at that point. I hope you have as much luck finding someone as I did. Thanks to you. Oh, we did it. Now let's keep getting some hearty radishes while we're here. Uh, 
Nice. Cook that up. Is there anything in... Ah, yes! Yes, yes, yes. And what could be in a treasure chest in the legendary uh, romantic heart pond? It's an amulet of Mara. That's for you Skyrim fans out there. Oh, never mind. It's really not that great. Let's go in the water. Let's. I'm swimming in love water. Um, so this is cool, but we still haven't found the initial mission of today was to find Lurlin Village. It's out there somewhere, guys. Where could it be? Where could Lurlin be? Daylight's about to come up, though. <sighs> Where? Floria Falls. Huh. We've got to find it. I wonder... It hasn't... Like... Popped up? You would think it would, like... You would find it here, you know? Like... I guess it won't show up until I find it, is kind of the thing. Now, okay, if you look at, like, Hatino, right? Uh, I guess Hatino... Yeah, there's some stuff that looks like buildings. So... Is there anything on this map that looks like a building? Those just look like the trees. What is that? I'm looking right at it, apparently. Maybe it's that that I'm looking at? That's a... Mm, I don't think that's a... Anything, honestly. Might just be a bunch of rocks or something. Well... Lakeside Stable. Do I go back there? Um, is it possible that at Lakeside Stable... I might get some information about Lurlin. Those three trees, we still never did anything with those. Guys, I don't know. I It's so funny because I remember seeing signs for Lurlin Village. Like, way back when we were getting all the towers done. I genuinely have no idea where I'm going. Um, but let's go see what's down here. Because there is a dock. So you know what? 
I bet I bet this road leads to Laurel and maybe that's it right there. There's the dock right here with the lake, so maybe there's like it's one of those small villages that people just go fishing at. I don't know. Whoa! There's a shrine! Right there! Yeah, we're gonna shrine that up. Is that a village down there? The music changed. Guys, is that... Is that it? Hang on. Let's go up the road and then go down. <sighs> Guys, I think that's it. Is this it? Hello? Oh, I like the music here. Yep, this has got to be something. This is beautiful. Hi, everyone. Oh, look, we got kids running. <gasps> Oh, and a side mission. You a traveler? I'm a fisherman of this village. This must be Lurland. But we're in a bit of a bind lately. Monsters have taken over the best fishing spots. You used, uh, you used to be able to pull in a good haul at uh, Eris Beach. But these days, you'd be lucky to leave there with your life. You look pretty tough. Think you could go take care of them? Consider it done, sir. Sebasto. Um, good stuff. Remember, it's called a uh, Eris Beach. The monsters have set up shop there. Well, maybe I'll buy something. Stay sharp. Hi, puppy. Hi. Hey, you want something to eat? Oh, wait, what's this? Palm fruit. Here, I'll give you something. I'll give you a, um... I want some meat. I just killed that bull over there. There you go. He's a happy puppy. There you go. I love it. It's very peaceful music. Really like this a lot. I wonder if there's a point where it will it will come up like Laurelin Village. Another side quest. Kiana, are you a traveler? This is yep, this is Laurelin Village. We're a small fishing town and proud of it. Oh, Laurelin. Like, I keep saying Luralin, but like fishing, so lure, like a fishing lure, Luralin. Uh, my husband is a fisherman, and I have two sons who will probably grow up to be fishermen too. Aww. What should I cook for tonight's dinner? Please, no more fish, mommy. Hey. Make your seafood paella. Uh, it's so good and yummy and great. That settles it. I'll make some seafood paella. Yay! Okay, we seem to be a bit short on ingredients, though. We'll need goat butter and a hearty blue shell snail. Oh, we got one of those. I'm so busy with housework that I don't have time to go shopping for ingredients. Oh, I know. Could you go and get me the ingredients we're missing? Yeah, sure. Really? I'm happy to hear that. I'll be waiting.
Watch, this is probably the store right here that she couldn't be bothered to go shopping in. Great music. Great music. Nothing? No. So nice. Oh, that's supposed to be the store. Hello? Oh, we've got chests here. Place your bets. What is this? Psst. Come here. No, you, yeah, you, you, the kid, yeah, yeah, come closer. How do you like to be rich without having to work for it? Well, oh, aren't we a little sly here? I think we found, is he kind of a crook? <laughs> <laughs> Simmer down. I'm not talking about anything illegal here. See those treasure chests over there? What do you say to a little wager on them? The idea is you pick any chest you want and open it. Simple, right? The best part is whatever chest you open, you get all the money inside. Of course, only one chest is worth opening. <laughs> Don't come crying to me if you pick wrong. Before you go opening any boxes, you'll have to show me what it's worth to you. What's a bet, after all, if you don't stand to lose a bundle on it? Ooh, that's the part that really gets a man's heart racing. It's up to you how much you want to throw in, but the more you bet, the more you stand to win. A man like you must have expenses. Couldn't hurt to have some quick cash. Right here, right now, am I right? What do you say? All you've got to lose is your pride and your money. I'm in. Atta boy. Now, for the million rupee question, but it better not be a million. 50. Now we're talking. Looks like someone's ready to make some real money. I'll go get set up. No peeking while I'm fiddling with a chest. Got it? Oh. There we go. Step right up and take your chances. Take all the time you need to choose a chest to open. Look, listen, smell, taste them if you think it'll help. Guys, I don't know. A single rupee. Ah, oh, I lost. <laughs> Them's the breaks, but hey, surely you'll win that uh, big next time. Are you gonna keep going? Yeah, I'll go one more. 100 rupees. <laughs> I mean, fearlessness. Hell yeah. <laughs> that recklessness. I mean, fearlessness. I'll go get set up. No peeking while I'm fiddling with the chess. Ah. Take all the time you need. It's gotta be the third one. Maybe it'll be that this time. What? I thought, you know, eventually you keep picking it, maybe it'll... <laughs> All right, one more time. Uh, oh, I, I did 10, I didn't mean to do just 10. Oh. All right. The middle one. Ooh, I got 20 rupees. Okay. I doubled. <laughs> uh, who'd have thought? I mean, it was pure luck, but you're going to keep going, right? Oh, I got to get my money back. 100. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Ah. 
Maybe the first one? I don't know, the second one was the winner last time. Oh, okay, that's it. You gotta know when to hold them and know when to fold them. No, I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. I changed my mind. What else we got around here? There's a pathway over there. This is beautiful. I would love to buy a house around here. Oh. oh, we got a shrine so we can fast travel here now too, which is nice. I'm gonna go talk to that kid. Where's the kid who was just running around? Over here, come back kid. Stasis him. Have you heard? There's this really interesting spot at Pal uh, Palmorai or Palmore Beach. Uh, I went there with Garini uh, before, and it was so exciting. He said they were there were ruins or something. Hey, Mister, are you interested in old stuff like that? I am very much. Then I'll take you there. Follow me. Perfect. Thanks, Zuda. The kids in this game are really cute. This way, this way. Okay, go see some ruins. What are we gonna find? Last time we followed a kid like this, they took us to that, um, that statue in Hatino that could trade in your hearts for stamina and vice versa. Ooh, who's taking this way up there? By the way, uh, is your... Zuda, does your uh, uh, parents know that you ran off with a stranger? I wonder if this turns out to be another shrine or something. Are there horses out there? Kid, where are you taking me? We're almost there, follow me. Okay. It's beautiful, the flowers, the grass. There's a little peninsula out there. Ooh, wait a minute. A little platform. I follow the kid though. Kid, where are you taking me? What am I looking at? We made it! Oh! Those are the ruins! Okay! It's a shrine quest! See ya! Oh, and someone's here already. Yeah. Okay. Hello, sir. Oh, Garini. Hmm. <laughs> ah! Sorry about that. I was in the zone. Did you need something? Yeah, what are you doing? Ah! I was just examining this stone monument. This place has a very spiritual aura to it. Do you feel it? Mm. I recently realized that there was writing engraved on this monument stone, or stone monument. Uh, so now I'm trying to figure out what exactly is written here. Well, can I help? Mm -hmm. Ah, so you're the curious type too. This stone monument was once much larger, but it broke apart during an earthquake a while back. Oh. 
If you really want to help, help me find the missing fragments, will you? They'll be scattered all around. I think the fragments had the same kind of script carved into them. If you find a fragment, please draw a picture of it and bring it to me. Probably could just take a picture. Uh, I'll be here finishing my examination of this stone monument. All right. And the words on the stone monument glow with an eerie light at night. That should make them easier to find. One of them should be right around here. Please find that one first. So, by the looks of it, are there two shrines that are going to pop up? Alright, buddy. We're going to have a little camping trip here. I wonder if uh, Garini will stay here with me while I do this. You know what? I think I used all my wood. That's fine. Let's go chop a tree down. Think of it. Let's. There. Oh, a lot of hearty radish over here. That's good. All right, buddy. Get some firewood. Uh, hold. Where's my flint? Oh, come on. Uh, okay. Oh, wait, I just thought of something. Will that light up? No. I thought it'd be fun to try anyway. You never know. There. Uh, yeah, night. A little easier to see. <laughs> Sorry, but could you draw a picture so that I could see the engraved? One of those should be right around here. Wait a minute, I got an idea. Can I go like this? Now, I was wondering if I could, uh, that <laughs> scared me, watch. You're just sitting there looking and then, ah! I was, I was wondering if, uh, I might be able to take a picture of that and then set my sensor to find the other pieces. Right around here, huh? Hey, 
Hey, I got my flint back. Right around here, huh? Oh, wrong one. Well, let's go look over here. He said oh, around here. Let's start with this. Um. sure how to find it that's the thing it's gonna have blue writing on it that's where I chopped all the trees down oh wait I've got some Start with that. Hey. Did you find? I yeah, sure did. Oh. Mmm. Mm. It looks like there's only two pieces. Some of the fragments must still be missing. Well, he makes it sound like there's more than just one other one. Well, keep looking. I suppose the waves may have washed some away or pulled them into the water. The letters on the stone glow with an eerie light at night. Yep. Okay, we'll go look at the water. for a glow. Yeah, that's even tied, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, is that no? Look in the water. That's a really crappy shield. That's one thing I gotta do. I gotta get a better shield. I used them all during the the fight. Light. doing that. All 
right, we got another one. Go uh, talk with was it Garini Gatini? I can't remember his name. Ah, Garini. Uh, did you find any fragments of the stone monument? No, wrong button. Uh, hang on. Got it. I sure did. There we go. Some of the fragments must still be missing. Well, keep looking. I wonder if the currents are strong enough to have carried a fragment all the way to Cape Crescia or Soka Point. The letters are on the stone glow. Okay, Cape Crescia? There's Soka Point. Okay, I got it. Way over here. All right. Cool. All right. But here's the thing. That's a long ways away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my way back to uh, Lurland Village. And, um, I want to go, I want to get back to the village, and I real quickly want to do that shrine. So we can always have a way to fast travel back to the village. And you know what, I'm going to do it this way. A little faster when you can paraglide. You know, you know it's faster. this shrine really quickly if we can do it quick and uh, at least that way we'll have a, a a fast travel place and then we'll spend some more time in Lurlin when we play the game next time We'll do it. Part I almost just pulled out and said, ah, oh, you know what? Let's just wait until next time. Episode's getting kind of long now. And I did say we were going to do shorter episodes. But I didn't get, didn't get a chance to do a shrine today, so. What do we have? Oh. Okay, what says this? this is different. It's like a scale. Who sets foot in the shrine? Ya Rin. A weighty decision. Okay. Can I ride my motorcycle? No. Okay. That would be really funny. Well, before I start moving stuff around. I must have to use this to get up.
I want to parry. I didn't work. He goes back. Now! Nope. Okay. Now! No. Too soon. Now! Oh! No, no, no. Oh! I gotta go sideways. That's what I gotta do. Watch. Got it. That's right, so when they come down tomahawk style, you gotta go sideways. That's why I gotta remember. Guardian sword. Eh. Uh, I would like one of those, yes, because... Um, what do we have that we can... Oh, yeah. We don't need this stuff. <laughs> Wonderful. You know, now that we're at it, let's get rid of the club. Pick that up. Okay. I mean, that just made sense, right? Might as well use that thing. Next. There's another. I get it. You gotta use the, uh... Oh, that's not magnetic. Can I? Yes. Whoo! It's a heavy, heavy one. Okay, so I got this. Yep. Opal, nice. I like getting the gems because you you know you get the money. Oops, that fell off. Okay. Yeah, you stay there. Okay. Oh, perfect. Hey, we did it. That wasn't hard at all.
All right, and we got a fast travel to Luralin now. All right, guys, we've been playing this game for about an hour and a half. Okay, three. So we've been playing this game now for about an hour and a half, so we are definitely coming to the end of this episode. Um, but now we've found uh, Lurland Village, and uh, I'm really excited to do more exploring here. It's beautiful. I love the music, and I love the beachfront property. Uh, if you've been following any of the other gameplays, specifically Subnautica, uh, you'll know I love my beachfront property. Welcome to the Malibu of Hyrule. I love this music. It's beautiful here. Oh, is this the store? That lady wanted me to go to the store. Hang on. I know. Hey, guys, I gotta turn this off. Oh, wait, is that a... Yes, it is. We can also cash in our soul orbs as well, spirit orbs. Let's get what that lady needed. Hello. Oi. Jessica. Uh, you must be tired of your long... Oh, this is... Oh, okay. Um, no thanks. Not right now. I'm looking for the store. I want to buy a house here. Hey, kiddo. All right, we already went in here. Oh, my. Oh, wait, look. Oh, is that the market? Oh, it's right here on the dock. How cool. Pardon me, lady. I just need to get a thing here. Pardon me. Fire arrows will take them. Okay, let's talk to the nice lady. Oh, sorry, sorry. Hi. Hey, welcome, you're a new face. Her name is Mubs. Fresh fish, just recently caught. Take a look. Uh, I'll buy. Uh. Do you want something? Um, iron shell crab. Octo balloon. Oh, shock arrows. Regular uh. arrows. I'll take them all. Um, look at that. There's more goodies over here in the boat, but I don't, I want to get that lady what she needed. Hang on. Um, here I am. I know I'm like, oh, okay. I, uh, it's time to go guys. But man, it's, this is so much fun. Oh, we got some stuff to still do here, guys. Side quest. There we go. What's for dinner? Goat butter. And she needs a hearty blue shell. Do I? I don't think I've got goat butter. She mentioned going to the store to buy it, but I don't think it's this one. That might be something I have to get at um, Hatino or something like that. Oh. Do you like fish? Oh yeah, I like fish. Doesn't that fish look delicious? I caught it myself too. You're welcome to help yourself. I cooked way too much for just myself alone. Oh, thank you, sir. Probably don't need any of it now, do you? Hmm. 
So great. I really, I know I've said this a thousand times, guys. I just really like the music. It's, very, it's so calming. This looks like it could be a store. Or maybe not. No, actually, I think we've already been over here. Someday, we're gonna finish our series with Breath of the Wild. And it is truly going to be the end of an era. But when we do that, I'll do the typical, you know, end of game, easy mode review. And I can tell you that one of the high points of this game, there's a lot of them, but several things that will, that have, one of the things that have stuck out at me has been the quality of the soundtrack. I could easily, actually, I think I'll look and see if I can find the soundtrack on streaming, because I would love to, uh, to just, this is the kind of thing I would love to just chill with. I'm just doing stuff around the house. All right, let's save it. That's where we're gonna end it for today, guys. Uh, but that was a lot of fun. I hope you guys had fun too. I had a lot of fun just getting back to exploring Hyrule. The beach was really cool. Ah, oh, it was so good. All right, that's gonna do it for this episode. Well, okay guys, that's gonna do it for this episode. And that was so much fun. For me, that was just, ah. Uh, you know, I, I know it may not be overly exciting for some people. For me, this episode was just everything I love about Breath of the Wild. Um, the music, discovering new music and new people and a new village, uh, doing a shrine, uh, just, you know, chasing the kid around Lurlin Village and him showing us a, another shrine quest. Um, and there was so much in this episode that I loved. Um, and it was just peaceful to me. And, uh, and anyway, I hope it was peaceful for you guys. I hope this was just one of those chill and relaxed kind of videos. I know from, a, a, you know, my interactions with a lot of you, uh, that a lot of you guys just put these episodes on as just a way to kind of sit back and chillax, you know? And, um, and so I hope this episode did that for you guys who do that. Um, it was super fun for me. Uh, and I know there's been a lot of you who for a long time have been trying to get me to check out Lurland Village. So uh, I thoroughly love it. And I do plan on spending some more time here in our next episode as well. Uh, Cause I do want to go over to the Cape and, uh, and see if we can find that other part of the tablet, the, the go at nighttime, the blue tablet there. And, uh, and then we can take care of that shrine uh, as well, that shrine quest. Uh, and you can see we still have some shrine quests to do and I'm sure there are many more to, to find and discover. Uh, we've got a lot of side quests. Uh, we need to go get some goat butter. We might need to go fast travel over to Hatino and uh, get some goat butter. I think there might be some in the shop at Hatino. If not, probably in Kakariko, but I think I think in Hatino there is. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I know I thoroughly enjoyed making it for you. And if you are enjoying the series in this episode, then please click like on this video because that would really help things out here. Also, another way that you can help things out here is if you are not already a subscriber within this amazing community that we call Let's Play Easy Mode, then please hit that subscribe button. We're on our road to 1,000 subscribers and beyond, and you could be a part of that journey with us. Just go ahead and click that subscribe button. Go ahead and do that right now. That would really be helpful. Uh, we're on Discord. The link for that is down in the description below. And as always, you can dive in deeper with me by hopping on over to the Patreon page, which you can get to by going to this link right here. Guys, it is always a real honest to goodness joy of mine to spend time with you playing games. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day and spending it with me. Uh, there's so many things that you could be doing right now. And, uh, and instead, you're just hanging out with me and we're playing games together. Uh, it really means the world to me. I love you guys so much. And I really hope that wherever you are, you are safe and you are happy and uh, just life is good for you. I will talk to you later, but until then, take it easy.